we now take up a new topic returns to a factor before we explain the first thing first why study this topic at all remember we are studying microeconomics and in microeconomics the main emphasis is on market and within the market the main emphasis is on price determination and price determination is turned determined by forces of demand and supply we have already studied the forces of demand in which we studied two questions about the behavior of the consumer one was related to consumer's equilibrium and other was related to law of demand that is reaction of consumer to change in price from demand now we shift over to supply in supply also we study two aspects of the behavior of a producer how much a producer should produce so that he gets maximum profit this is nothing but producer's equilibrium so we have a topic called producer's equilibrium which we will take up a little later then another aspect law of supply how much quantity a producer will be willing to supply at a given price or if price changes and why our main concern in this topic is to study one of the aspects of this uh supply side let us remember how much quantity a producer is willing to supply is determined by cost ab aap kahenge sab cost se kya taluk hai har producer ka pehla ऑब्जेक्टिव पहला एम्फोसिस अपनी कॉस्ट को रिकवर करना द प्रोड्यूसर डिटर्मिन्स द प्राइस एट विच ही विल बी विलिंग टू सेल इज डिटर्मिंट बाय द कॉस्ट इनकर्ड बाय हिम द मिनिमम प्राइस एट विच ही इज विलिंग टू सेल वुड बी the cost of producing the commodity because his immediate objective is to recover the cost so how much producer will be willing to supply at what price is determined by cost we have a separate topic cost which we will take up after this after returns to a factor so we are trying to link supply with the topics which we are going to study from now onwards now cost in turn is determined by technology what is the meaning of technology technology simply means method of production method of production means 
combination of inputs how much labor how much capital how much raw material and so many things the moment you change this combination technology changes so technology here should be taken to mean method of production the technical name for this technology in economics is production function it's a mathematical name also production function means ki production kiska function hai production inputs ka function hai so you can call it input output relation what does a production function shows a production function shows relation between let us say change in inputs and consequent change in output that is the meaning of production function production function has two aspects which we will take just now with this little background we now say something more about production function we have just seen the meaning the relation between input and output mathematically it is represented like this Q here means output, quantity of output produced. X refers to the commodity. Is the function of input one, input two, input n. That is how a product. If there are four inputs, then n will be four. If there are ten inputs, the n will be ten. Like that. This is a general form of production function note that in this function we are only talking of physical inputs and physical output yah kehne ka kya matlab hai yah main value ki baat nahi kar rahe ye input kitne mein aayengi ye baat nahi kar rahe we are not talking about the price of input or the price of output we are simply talking about combination of physical inputs leading to production of physical output of a commodity now this production function has two aspects there are there are many inputs one aspect is uh, normally you know instead of uh, taking in this way we take this function as capital and labor function of capital and labor on symbolically we call it k into l once again we take only two inputs because it is our limitation agar hum isko diagram par dikhayenge jo ki shayad yahan zarurat nahi padegi lekin university level par aap jayenge to hum maximum do inputs dikha sakte hain इसलिए हम नॉर्मली कैपिटल एंड लेबर दो ही इनपुट्स लेते हैं वर्चुअली ऑल मैनुअल वर्क मेंटल वर्क बाय पीपल इट्स टेकन एज लेबर एंड ऑल अदर इनपुट्स लाइक बिल्डिंग मशीनरी रॉ मटेरियल स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल एंड ऑल दैट इट इज इट इज टेकन एज कैपिटल इन इकोनॉमिक्स वी स्टडी टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप्स one if 
only one input is increased. If only one input is increased, what is the change in output? This is one aspect. Since the emphasis here is on one input, we call it returns to a factor. Factor and input are same. So, yeah, a factor means change in one physical input returns here refers to change in total physical output. So what does returns to a factor mean? Change in total physical output by employing more and more units of one input, the big assumption is other inputs remaining unchanged. This is the aspect which we are going to study, but I will just mention the other aspect which we are not going to study, but without that, the two aspects will be incomplete. The other aspect is if all the inputs are increased, if all the inputs are increased, then this becomes returns to scale, returns to scale. 